For years I carried around a drafting triangle, like this. Woo! <laughs> Sorry Goose. Sorry about that. Ooh, uh, oof, okay. No, I didn't. No, no, I, di I didn't do that. That would be weird. No, serious. Sorry, Goose. Sorry, Goose. Drafting aids are damn handy. That's why today I'm going to show you how to set up the Procreate app. Ooh. One of the best apps, the Procreate app, for interior design and get the right drawing aids ready to go and turned on. It's going to save you so much figuring out. This is part one of a special jungle safari because we're going to go deep into the jungles of sketching. <laughs> and we're going to explore the best way to create those sketches on the iPad. Set up a canvas. Okay, so here we go. We're in Procreate. This is great. The first thing that we want to do is create a new canvas and we want to create a new canvas size. So I'm going to hit the plus button. Set up a canvas because you might not have these um, options available to you since you haven't created these canvases yet. We want to create a canvas that is letter landscape, which is a great option for doing quick sketches for interior design. And you can print it anywhere, which is really the point. So we want to hit this plus button with the two squares and that'll allow us to create a new canvas. You can see by default, this is set to pixels, but we want inches. We're working with inches. And if you are, you know, working internationally, which I used to do a lot, you can also use millimeters or centimeters, probably centimeters, and keep this in metric. But for us, we want to use inches and I want to create this at a letter size. So that's going to be 11 inches wide for landscape and eight and a half inches high. You can see below this that we have 300 DPI, um, which is going to give us a really nice clean printout, but it really doesn't need to be that high. And the maximum number of layers that you have is dependent on your iPad and how much RAM that has available. So you can see if I change the layers, that's or change the DPI, that is going to give me more layers available. And this is just fine for a sketch. 72 is just fine for a sketch. Um, 300 dpi, 59 layers. I'm not too worried about these other properties right now, but one thing that I really do want to do is I want to tap on this up here to give this a name because next time that I go to create a create a new drawing, this is going to show up in my list of canvas sizes and I want something that makes sense. An untitled canvas doesn't give me a lot of information. Now, a quick tip just for inputting text on the iPad is, you know, it's a little bit slow to tap these letters like this. You can use a keyboard, but what I like to do is just pinch in and that's going to give you the small keyboard and this will let you swipe to type. So I find that's a lot faster to get to type the text that I want to type. Ah! Avoid the timesheet tiger. So I'm calling this letter landscape because that's what it is and it's going to show up in my menu. And you could also know any other things about this that you want. I kind of like to know that it's 300 DPI because that gives me a sense of what I can do in the drawing with without getting pixelation. Let's tap this button up here in the top right corner to create a canvas. And here we go. We have our canvas. If you pinch in to zoom, to zoom out, you can see our full canvas. Any drawing that you do has to be on this canvas. It isn't like some vector apps, which I really like, which have the ability to draw on the desktop. Um, this is a raster based, so everything is has to be on the canvas. Today we're going to focus on the 2D grid. The 2D grid is really great for things like plans, elevations, sections, and flat earthers. Now that we have our canvas, um, the next step to this is going to be turning on our 2D drawing guide or our grid. Um, and this will help us big time as a reference for creating sketches to scale. So let's go to the wrench. Are you keeping up? And then go to the canvas settings and just toggle on drawing guide. And there we go. We have our 2D drawing guide. 2D drawing is the default. There are other drawing guides available. The problem with this 2D drawing guide is, I don't know what the hell scale it is. I mean, I can use these squares to reference and then, you know, output something and change it in another program. That's too much work. Let's just set this grid size here to something that we know um, so that we can do everything right here in Procreate. So to do that, go back to the wrench and edit drawing guide. 
Tag. And down here in the lower right hand corner, you'll see this option for grid size. Now there's this slider button, but that doesn't really help me much. What I want to do is I want to change this from pixels to inches. This is confusing because in the small window, I can't see a damn thing. I need to drag that down to the bottom and now it shows up with my settings for different scales and I want to select inches just like my paper size and I want to make this quarter inch grid size right the last thing I want to do is I want to change the color here to a light blue because I'm using black lines and I, I want to be able to separate the grid from you agree bird uh, bird disagrees she likes the black lines but I want to use the blue ground blue lines to separate it from my pens so once we have that, let's tap done, and there we go. Quarter inch grid, just like the graph paper you buy in the store, except digital, because this is 2021, and we are we are cool. Um, okay, so now I can use this as a reference to sketch, and you know, say you have like, you know, quarter inch equals a foot, and you want to draw these lines, great, 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 and you can do all that freehand, that's cool. Um, but I don't want to draw a freehand right now. I want to have those drawing aids available at my disposal and I want to get to it quickly, right? So what I really want is perfect vertical and perfect horizontal lines. Goose, do you agree? Do you agree with that, Goose? No opinion? Okay. Assisted drawing. I want perfect, perfect vertical and perfect horizontal lines. So to do that, we're going to turn on assisted drawing. Assisted. And the way we turn on assisted drawing is we just go up here to the wrench and we go back to edit drawing guide and there's a toggle button down here in the far lower right hand corner called assisted drawing. Toggle that on. Done. Now everything that we draw is perfectly vertical and perfectly horizontal depending on which way we move our hand when we draw so you can see how using this you know you can really quickly plot out plans and elevations and draw sections right so that's great but I find myself turning on and off assisted drawing actually quite a bit and the last thing that I want to do is have to go back into that menu over and over and over and over. So what I like to do is set up a shortcut and really you only have to do this once and then this will be available to you really anytime um, you go in to create a drawing. So these preferences, they, they stay with the program. To turn on a shortcut, let's go back to the wrench. Let's go to prefs, which I believe is short for preferences gesture controls and you can see here I already have assisted drawing selected there's a lot of options here um, smudge erase third one down is assisted drawing and I have on tap square to turn on assisted drawing which is my favorite now these other ones can be a little bit awkward usually you have to do you know two things at once and that's not something I like to do when I'm drawing um, or you have to draw exclusively with the Apple Pencil or with Touch. I always like to draw with the Apple Pencil, so those aren't an option for me. The only one that might be a little bit easier than Tap Square would be to turn on the Apple Pencil Double Tap, but because, as you can see, I'm using a Generation 1 Apple Pencil, that option is not available to me. So I like Tap Square. So we have Tap Square toggled on. Um, with that, I'm going to hit Done. And just tap outside the canvas to turn that menu off and now you can see every time that I tap the square it's going to turn drawing assist off it's going to turn drawing assist on and that is a lot easier than going back into the menu now there's another way to tell if I have drawing assist on or off and that is to go to the layers and keep in mind when you turn drawing assist on on it is just for that layer it is not for the entire drawing so right now you can see that I have it on for layer one but if I create another layer layer two that is already off by default so when you create a new layer you do have to go back and turn drawing assist on we we'll just turn it on there for layer two and you can see in my layer menu now that says assisted that is a way to quickly find out which layers have drawing assist on or drawing assist off and if you want it on or off for that layer all you have to do is go back here and tap the square and that'll update 
on your layers panel. So now that we have drawing assist on, again, I can draw and get perfectly horizontal and vertical lines. Now that's all there is to it. That's that's my setup. I don't like to overcomplicate it. Next time I'm going to show you some uh, ways, some quick tips and tricks using this setup, but also some other things uh, to help you create better uh, plans and sections and elevations. And the idea is more around being able to quickly ideate. Uh, like I said, this for me, this app doesn't replace CAD. It doesn't replace um, Revit or anything like that. What it does is it kind of replaces the tr trace paper and the graph paper, places where I like to really ideate and think through things drawing by hand. Um, so that's the approach that we're gonna take and we are going to sketch some plans, some elevations, and some sections. I'm gonna show you how to go through that process in a way that's gonna help you just be free to ideate and make changes and have things update. Stay tuned for that next week. <laughs>